Now with one of the biggest deep sea mysteries of our time finally solved, the wreckage of the Endurance has been found. And Amy is here with an exclusive look from our good friends at Nat Geo. That's right, Robin. Good morning to you. It's been more than 100 years since the Endurance went down in the icy waters of Antarctica. Its final resting place was thought to be unreachable until now. This morning, one of the greatest mysteries of Antarctica solved deep below the ice. More than 100 years after sinking, the ship, the Endurance, is finally found. In 1915, an expedition led by Sir Ernest Shackleton was making its way towards the South Pole when he and more than two dozen crew members became trapped by sea ice. The explorers staying aboard for as long as possible, but after 10 months, the ice crushing the sinking ship. These images taken by the crew as the ship was crushed were brought back and played in theaters. What happened next would become one of the greatest survival stories in history. The crew up against the brutal polar winter, living on ice drifts and eventually making their way to Elephant Island before being rescued. It lies 3,000 meters in one of the most unexplored bits of ocean bed on planet Earth. The sea is covered usually with a shield of sea ice. For years, explorers have searched for the wreck and now we're getting a look at a vessel that hasn't seen daylight in generations. National Geographic giving us this exclusive clip of one of the ship's masts. The cold temperatures preserving much of the structure, including that gold name. The idea that we can see the lettering of endurance, that gold lettering on the seabed, untarnished after over 100 years lying down there. I never believed we'd get that quality. Its discovery has been made impossible until now because of the Weddell Sea's harsh waters and thick ice. Something I saw firsthand when I traveled to the same area last year aboard the National Geographic Endurance, the wreck's namesake ship. Wow, walking on the frozen ocean. The sea ice here, the type of ice the Endurance became trapped in, stretches beyond the horizon. Endurance 22 navigated this hostile environment, finally locating the wreck nearly 10,000 feet below the surface. Historian Dan Snow on board for the discovery. We found one coherent wreck that looks so like those images that we have of Endurance in late 1915, just before it sank. It is a dream come true. It really is a truly incredible discovery. Unfortunately, it was made a little easier by climate change. The team has been filming a documentary chronicling the expedition to air later this year as part of a National Geographic's Explorer series. And that shifting sea ice mm. actually allowed us to get to places when we were down there that we had not been able to go before, that that ship had not been able to go before. Remember those big emperor penguins? Right. Right. We were able to get closer than ever before. That's why we got to see so many of them, unfortunately, because of the changing sea wow. ice. That's what happened. But to be on the namesake of the ship, right. you're on the Endurance, <laughs> and they have found I know, TJ teased me. He's like, it was right under you. You didn't <laughs> see it? No, I didn't see it, TJ. We just assumed. When I heard they found this thing, I thought it was all you. I was yeah, giving I you credit. It's my fault. All right. No, Rose, <laughs> thank you as always. We'll see you shortly, of course. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.